Hey everyone, it's Miss Kaylee and today we are going to draw a picture together. Um, drawing is really fun because you don't really need much to do it. You can be anywhere, you can be with anyone, as long as you have a piece of paper and something to draw with, you're good to go. Um, today I'm going to be using crayons, but if you only have markers or if you only have a pen or a pencil, that's going to work perfectly fine. So since it's October and Halloween is coming up, I thought maybe we could draw a pumpkin. So pumpkins are really cool to draw because no pumpkin is perfect. They're all kind of like snowflakes where they're all a little different. So we're going to start by drawing some type of circle shape. Maybe your circle is longer to make it an oval. Maybe it's small and tiny like a baseball. Whatever you're feeling, that's what you're going to draw. That's the great part about art is it's totally up to you and what you're thinking and what you're feeling. It doesn't have to look like anyone else's. It doesn't have to be perfect because all art is beautiful and unique, just like us. So I'm going to start with drawing a circle. And if you're using markers or crayons or colored pencils, I'm using an orange one. So I'm going to draw mine like that. So there is my pumpkin. After we draw our orange circle, we're going to take our brown crayon and we're going to draw the stem. The stem is going to go right on top of the pumpkin. Kind of like an apple, huh? So there is our stem. Now we're going to take our green color and we're going to draw um, the vines that grow out of a pumpkin. And they're kind of squiggly, like a pig's tail. So I drew mine squiggly. If you drew yours straight, that's fine. If you gave it some leaves, that's fine too. So there is our pumpkin. Now since it's Halloween, I thought maybe we can make it into a jack-o'-lantern. So for the jack-o'-lantern, it doesn't take much extra. You're just going to add two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. So however you want to do that is up to you. If you want to give it circle eyes, if you want to give it a star for a nose, or maybe it's frowning so its mouth is going to be a frown, that's up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the eyes triangles. So you're going to start at the top and you're going to go down, go back up to the top, down again, and across. So we're going to go down, down, across. So, for the nose, I'm going to do an upside down triangle. So that means first we're going to go across, and then we're going to go down to a point, and then back up. See how it's flipped upside down? And my pumpkin is happy, so I'm going to give him a smile. But I think I'm also going to give him some teeth. So here I go, I'm rounding it out like a smile. And then when I go down, I'm going to give him one tooth, two teeth, three teeth, and I'm going to connect it back up. There is my jack-o'-lantern. So now that we have our jack-o'-lantern all finished, if you have colors, you can color it in. Or maybe you want to add a sun at the top. We can add a sun. It's just going to be a circle with the rays of light coming out. We can add a sun, or maybe our jack-o'-lantern is sitting on some grass. We can add grass. I know our friend Pedro loves to sit at the grass outside of our classroom, so maybe his is sitting in grass. It's up to you. If you wanna color it in, you could take your orange marker or crayon and color it in. And it is going to be beautiful. Whatever you choose to do is going to be perfect because it's homemade from your heart. And then after you draw your beautiful, magnificent art, you always sign your name. So I'm going to sign my name in purple because that's my favorite color. I'm going to sign it right here at the bottom. 
Miss Kaylee. And then you're done. It's perfect, and you can hold it up. You can put it on the fridge. You can give it to mom for her birthday or dad, and it's going to be beautiful, and they're going to love it. So I can't wait to see how your jack-o'-lanterns turned out.